This reminds me of when we first met. I was the one inside the locker that time. We're equal now, huh? Not unless I wet my pants. That's a low blow, Snake. Push the action button once more to get out of the locker. You can see out from the slit in the door. Make sure you check the area using first-person view before you go out.
freeze. More! Please don't. Repair of the entrance way to the engine room on the port side is complete. We'll return to position following patrol of the small room on the port side. Freeze. <gasps> There's another set of infrared sensors in place. If you touch that, the explosives will detonate and that ship will be pulverized. I'm not in the mood to go sleep with the fishes, but there are too many sensors. Looks like I'll have to find another way. No need to worry. There's a way through. Take a close look. Do you see the thing with blinking green lights right next to the explosives? That's the control unit for the sensors. Destroy that, and the sensors stop functioning. You can't get in close enough to touch it, so you'll have to shoot it out. 
But the M9's knockout rounds won't work. The USP you picked up should do the trick. Use that gun. Checkpoint passed. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes' time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time. Yep. Who's there? Don't sneak up on me like that. It was just my imagination playing tricks on me. Freeze.
Doesn't look as though you can open that door. Just keep heading south. What you're wielding right now is a converted Beretta M92F, designed to fire tranquilizer rounds. A direct hit will knock the target unconscious. Think of those rounds as tiny syringes. The impact of the round causes the mixing of two chemicals in the shell. The resulting gas compresses a tiny piston and injects the tranquilizer in the bullet's tip into the target's skin. The tranquilizer's effects are felt at different times depending on where the bullet lands. A head or a heart shot will take effect immediately, but a round that hits somewhere like feet or hands will take a while. Use the first-person view attack for maximum accuracy. The gun is fitted with a suppressor, so there's no need to worry about alerting the enemy with the noise. But since it is a tranquilizer gun, the M9 has its limitations. All it can do is knock the enemy unconscious. Keep that in mind. is also under our control. We are on the foredeck, about to ascend to the holds. Sir, the Marine Commander has started his speech already. We will complete the preparations before the end of the speech. All communications to the holds have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. Let no one down into the holds until we are out. Yes, sir. We will secure your exit with our lives if necessary. There is one more thing. Yes, sir. Who's there? Oh, Shalashaska. Why are you here? We thought you were with the Colonel. What the?
Colonel will be joining you soon, comrade. Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holds? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses. The men down here are definitely Marines. The current state of nuclear... If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent arrivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. Okay, Snake. Let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right, and front left, and a close-up of the Marine Corps marking. Marking? There should be a Marine's insignia on the body of Metal Gear. Just let someone try explaining away a clear shot of that. All right. There's actually one little thing. Just spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. It looks like someone's monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. What I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. Arrangements? I hitched a ride on Link 16 into U.S. military's proprietary network, managed to get into that workstation and overrode a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, it's pretty simple, really. Look, all you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. The app will automatically launch and download the image data from the camera, split the files, and encrypt them individually. The data packets can then masquerade as... Okay, okay. So all I have to do is push the action button in front of the computer once I have the pictures, right? Well, sure, if you put it that way. And one more thing. The Commandant's already begun his speech. But you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you, okay? How much time do I have? I hacked into his personal files and took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. A seven-minute time limit, huh? Remember, Snake, just the photos, okay? With these kinds of odds, I won't be making any sudden moves. But that doesn't mean we can just let Metal Gear be hijacked. Okay, okay, but first the photos. All right, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish this. At the moment, every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear force to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of raids. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. 
There is a lot of pressure from Navy Brass, especially those with submarine and air pressure. Not to mention interference from a major plane. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order, and we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own Ray project. But I promise you that they will not succeed. This turned out to be longer than expected. At ease, rest a little bit. Ah! Ah, forget about it. To move on, I have a daughter. It is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my goal. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Unlike the Army's Rex, it can cruise deep underwater, move in undetected and make its landing on any shoreline. Its onboard joint tanks and information distribution Shadow Moses incident during the Sears administration. The current state of nuclear proliferation is a direct result of that event. Metal Gear. Its onboard Joint Tactical Information Distribution System identifies targets with unerring accuracy. It takes them out with massive firepower. It is the ultimate weapon. It is yours to go. Might be all to think about what that means. This new model of Metal Gear is codenamed Grey, after the Great Manta Ray. Our Ray has a sting that nature never gave the Manta. With this latest Metal Gear, we can rule the sea and land as we never have before. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development. But it cannot be more fun than nature than the Navy. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. I to be repeating myself. Chalk it up to old age. George Sears surrendered his presence in the aftermath of Shadow Moses. The official reason given did not, of course, include the development. And of Metal Gear Good. next generation nuclear warheads. But even you will have heard rumors that he was forced to resign after the failed cover-up cost him his influence in the political. Uh. 
The Metal Gear Rex development on Shadow Moses was supposedly the first preparatory measure taken against the future possibility of reduced nuclear defense capability. NMD technology leaked to other nations would make that contingency likely. But if this theory is correct, it means that there was a calculated intent to cash in on this opportunity by specific interests within the military-industrial complex. We are here today to flush out and rid our country of these corrupting forces. That is our mission. You will bear that in mind. So, any codec moments from you, Snake? The first image is... Oh, this is a... What? Nothing. It's nothing. But this isn't a photo of Metal Gear, anyway. Sorry, but you're gonna have to go back and shoot another set. I'll just make a backup of this one. What's next? Ah, don't send me creepy stuff like this. What if I get possessed or something? Sorry, but this doesn't work. I hate to ask, but can you try again? And the next one is... Yeah! Another spooky photo? I told you to stop, didn't I? I need to go get some holy water or something. What's next? Stop it, okay? Are you trying to freak me out? Next up is... This is great. The Marines lettering shows up really well. So, what's the last one gonna be? More of these? Is that all you think about? Hey, what you like is your business. Just get those Metal Gear pictures. I'll just make a backup of this one. You must be tense. Let's do a little stretching, shall we? Left. Down. Up. Right. To move on, it is an undeniable fact that there is a force at work in our government and within the military seeking to control national affairs to suit its own interests. Metal Gear Ray bears the burden of confronting this party, thwarting their plans and guiding this nation back to its original path. This exercise is but a first step towards that goal. The future of the country rests with you tonight. Proliferation and development of Metal Gear technology are about to re render agreements. Good. And start obsolete. There are also forces at work trying to exploit this disturbing trend to further their own power and influence. The human race is about to slide back into the endless arms race of that last century, and we cannot afford to play that Russian roulette again. The Metal Gear Ray you see is here to prevent that possibility. Huh. We have intelligence that there are anti-metal uh. terrorists planning to target the ship. It to the left! Intruder to the right! 
Intruders to the left! Intruder in the back! Should that actually happen, I expect you to be prepared. We cannot and will not give up Ray. Stay on your guard at all times. Getting back to the topic at hand. Good. This Metal Gear Ray is a prototype designed to be operated by an onboard pilot. Looks like I have your photos now. Let's take a look. Okay, first up. Hey, this is the Marine Commandant. Are you a fan or something? And the next one is... Okay, that's good. The shot from the right is in the bag. What's next? Okay, this works. It's a great front view. And the next one is... You're a pretty good photographer. We can definitely use this left shot. Okay, now we have all the photos. Snake, the speech is about to wind up. Forget the photos and get out of there now. We, the Marines, will lead the charge into a new world order with Metal Gear Ray. That is all. Dismissed. Excellent speech, my friend. Who the? Gift of the silver tongue. They say it's the mark of a good officer. And of a liar. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself. I am Shalashaska. Also called... Revolver! Awesome! What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no, I'm taking it back. Nobody move! Understood? This ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this button. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. We're almost 
placed at the target. Get a move on. What do you intend to do with Ray? Sell it on the streets? I was raised in Znezinsk, formerly known as Chelyabinsk 70, the nuclear research outpost. What are you talking about? After the Cold War ended, my home was bought out by the Americans. Is there a point to this sad story? Not you would understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? Russia will rise again. And Ray is the key. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. Oh. Yes, returned to the Patriots. The Lale Lule Lo! How's that possible? Ocelot, you! Have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Kalukovich. Are you still in league with Solidus? No hard feelings, Colonel. Mother Russia can rot for all I care. Since when, Ocelot? When did you turn? I'm glad you noticed, comrade. I abandoned her during the Cold War. Ah! Metal Gear only has room for one! Gerukovich, <laughs> you and your daughter will die here. Damn you! Sergey, looks like you were long overdue for retirement. I trust. Stop. Show's over. If you wish to live, I suggest you run now. This ship is still in the lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life. Been a while, brother. Who are you? You know who I am. Liquid? Not so young anymore, eh, Snake? 
You're drowning in time. I know what it's like, brother. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the Fox Dive program. Ouch! Get out of my mind, Liquid! Price of physical prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late fifties when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm. Liquid arm.
location we discussed. Yes, I have photographic evidence of Snake on the scene. The cipher was most useful. I look forward to tomorrow morning's news flash. I would say the Marine Corps' plans are on indefinite hold. Yes, of course, Mr. President. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shack. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark, a symbol of environmental protection. Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad of Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group, and they have the big shell under complete control. What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person, in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst-case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the bay's ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of Shell 1. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant's struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? 
They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology a byproduct of fiber optics research. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. <laughs> 